Indeed they hope to clear the final hurdle, the final Europa League hurdle, and the atmosphere is building up already. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It's FC Tudi versus Arsenal. Well, what a night for these two clubs, Derek. Both will be desperate to win this trophy. You can just sense the tension out there, can't you? I've got a feeling this will be a great game. A look then at the starting 11. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Good movement. Marquesano. It looks promising. Antonio Marquesano. Well, they keep passing away. Well, that's the end of that move for now. And possession given away by Gabriel Jesus. What can they do from here? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Tavares. Jacker with it. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Another touch off the defender, last of all, so a corner. Can someone get on the end of this? When the referee blows the whistle, it is a free kick.
This to open the scoring here. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. Who's going to get on the end of it? And clearing us away. Saka. Martin Erdegaard. He could pick out a teammate. Gabriel Jesus. Well, he dragged the shot a bit. Not by much, though. Antonio Marcassano. It's a good looking ball in behind. Can he do it to take the lead? Oh, yes! First to score in this final, and it could be highly significant. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Promising pass. Well, potential danger. Granite Jacker. And return to Jacker. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. And will the cross work out for them? No nonsense clearance. Failed to keep hold of it. Jamaili. Guerrero on the ball. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, maybe the equaliser. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Jamaili. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Antonio Marcassano. Jamaili with it. Can they convert? Passion. 
Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. And it's a very tidy finish, because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. And with that, the first half draws to a close. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Antonio Marquesano. Well, that ball looks promising. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. High pressing at its best. Tavash. It's with Gabriel. Martin Odegaard. It's with Erdogan. Granit Xhaka. Well, he's given us away. Marquesano. Guerrero. Here's Kramer. Thirty minutes left for play. Martin Odegaard on to Jesus Granit Xhaka an encouraging Arsenal move he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one extremely sloppy in possession Jemaili Antonio Marquesano. Defensive efficiency personified. Showing a real desire to win it back. And into the last 20 minutes. Jemaili. Could be dangerous. Is it going to be? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Martin Odegaard. Can't argue with that little move. Xhaka, and it might be. Pivotal moment defensively. Guerrero. Oh, great vision. Cisse. Could play it in. Oh, splendid save. And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Elects to go short. It's opening up for them. This could finish it! No way through! Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt.
Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Delivering it. It didn't happen for them. Will it be? He got a good palm on it. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Now potential danger. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Keen to take it short here. And he's taken it away. This might be ideal for the counter. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. Crossing possibilities. And Ketia. Oh, a goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. it for the 90 minutes but this is not over and two 15 minute periods of extra time to come